Hi, this is Eva for Once Upon a Timeline, and today we're going to discuss neck vertebrae, as well as our new ability to swivel our heads more than you might remember. Okay, so many of us have already noticed that vertebrae along the spine have a lot of long spikes now that we don't recall. Well, the last six months, I have also noticed that the ones along the neck especially have become highly specialized. When I first saw them, they all looked about the same. But now you can see each one has its own unique uh, ending. Um, Some of them look like they're kind of splitting. This one up here is getting kind of a tube shape. Okay, let's look at another image here. This will come up. Okay, here we go. Now this is a back view. One thing I don't really recall seeing is this anterior longitudinal ligament, this long ligament here. I'm a little suspicious about that, but I didn't know the neck well enough to be 100% on that one. Uh, Another thing you'll notice is this vertebrae up here seems to be quite a bit separated from the lower ones. Uh, That one seems to be really specializing. Um, You can see in here the interior uh, internal occipital protuberance. We've been talking a lot about the bumps at the back of the skull back here uh, that are kind of new. Other people have already covered that one. Uh, You can see the specialization in a lot of these spines here. All right, let's look. Now this one, I thought this image was interesting because it really highlights how the spine goes like halfway up into your head now. So the top of your spine is now behind your nose. And um, I recall Originally, the spine used to uh, hit at the, at the back of the head back here. Uh, the face was further up onto the skull, but uh, that, that's changed quite a bit. You can see it from the side here oh, wait, on this image. Um, it goes way back up in here. Now, originally, the skull was kind of flat across here. The face was on the main skull, and the spine attached at the bottom and, and further to the back. I have not heard anybody mention that Emmy in a while but uh, that was kind of a popular one for a while that the, that the spine used to attach further towards the back of the skull and at the bottom. Okay, so now we are here with the spine up in the middle of the head almost. And here this shows some of the specializations. Um, you can see they've got fancy words now, the spinous process, the posterior tubercle. Well, this one's getting an interesting weird little shape up here. Okay, so anyway, the main point is the spine has changed a lot. Um, It's thicker. It has huge spines. It appears to maybe have some new ligaments. But uh, what does that mean for us? Well, what brought this whole subject on was I was perusing a subreddit called WTF, and I I I ran across this GIF. And at first I uh, wasn't even sure if it was real, but now with the ME, I have to check everything because it's very hard to tell what's real and what isn't. Maybe I still can't tell. But anyway, this kid's dancing. His his friend holds his head, and he he turns his head all the way to the back. Okay, I'm going to let it run through one more time since it's a pretty short gif. He's obviously very flexible. Yes, we're very impressed. Now his head is on backwards. He seems to be fine. And it's just all very creepy. Okay, so is this a thing? Can we, uh, some of us, turn our head the whole way around again? Uh, Apparently so. And I I don't think that we were able to do this before. It looks like that kid should be completely dead when he does that. Um, This might be the same kid again, but it just shows it interestingly. So I just wanted to see it again here. So there he is. He turns his whole head around. He should be dead as far as I'm concerned, but I guess that's the old timeline. And there's more of them that can do this. It's not just this one weird freak kid. This boy can also turn his head all the way to the back. He needs to... A little more time as he wiggles his head around. He looks like he should be dead to me, but apparently he can flip his head all the way around. This one's interesting because it does appear that he gets kind of white and pasty-faced when he does this. 
one of the rationales I've heard for why we shouldn't and can't move our head 360 degrees like these kids are obviously doing, but supposedly we can't because it would cut off the blood supply to our head. Yet apparently these kids are fairly fine. And uh, here is another one. This little boy Pakistan can just swing his around like it's on a homemade swivel. I mean, whoop, that one's the weirdest one yet. And uh, supposedly he likes doing it. I mean, it's just a trip. You can just grab it and spin it. Here he is again, so quick. Doesn't seem possible. But yet there are a lot of articles about this boy. This might be the same boy again. I'm not 100% sure, but the way he spins it so quickly makes me think it's the same one. Anyway, so apparently at least some of us are double-jointed in the neck region now. That might be the next thing. Now, one thing I did notice was I uh, decided to just stand and see how far my neck would swivel. And I do really feel like it's swiveling a lot further than it used to, maybe 15, 20 degrees more. I used to do the neck exercises, and I haven't done them in a long time. And when I went to do them again, my neck does seem like it goes a lot further around. I can really see behind me now. Um, if I turn my head, I can see all the way to behind me, and I didn't used to be able to do that. So I don't think it's just these kids. They're probably an extreme example, but uh, I think there's been some updates even for the rest of us. So anyway, the latest interesting news from the Mandela-affected world. This is Eva signing off for Once Upon a Timeline.